Good morning, Mrs. Smith. How are you today? Good morning. I'm fine. I was just watching the weather, though. That storm they're predicting for the coast looks really rough. It scares me. What if we were to have a natural disaster in our area? And what if I couldn't get to dialysis for my treatments? What would I do? Like my son, the Boy Scout, says, always be prepared. What I can do is review some tips with you from DeVita so that you are better prepared for weather-related emergencies. First, gather your important medical information. Record your medications, including name, dose, and number of pills, how often you take the medication, what time you take it, and the name of the doctor that prescribed the medication. Have a list of phone numbers and email addresses for the clinic and your ESRD network. Your social worker can provide that information for you. Also, be sure you have phone numbers for your doctor and the hospital, your insurance company, electric and water companies, and local radio and TV stations. Be certain that the clinic has your contact phone numbers and an emergency contact name and phone number. If you are evacuating, be sure to give your clinic the address of where you will be staying. You should also call the DeVita Hurricane Hotline at 1-800-400-8331 and let them know where you will be staying. Guest services can help you find a clinic near your evacuation location. Second, keep a stock of supplies, food, and your medicines. Supplies should include candles, matches, plastic knives, forks, spoons, batteries, flashlight, manual can opener, first aid kit, five to seven day supply of all medicines, scissors, sharp knife, paper towels, disposable dishes, baby wipes, garbage bags, measuring cups, teaspoons, strainer, small bottle of bleach, radio and batteries, and a plastic jug of water. If you have diabetes, you would want to include your blood glucose meter and supplies too. The emergency diet I am showing you should be used if you lose power, cannot cook, or keep food cold. Following this diet will also limit the buildup of toxins in your blood if severe weather prevents you from safely traveling to your dialysis treatment. Be prepared by having at least a three-day supply of food on hand. One box of original rice milk, two gallons of bottled water, a six-pack of the four-ounce juice boxes, apple or grape, single serving boxes of rice or corn cereal, sugar or artificial sweetener, six four-ounce fruit cups, three cans of low-sodium green beans, carrots or green peas, six cans of low-sodium tuna, crab, chicken, turkey, or salmon without bones, small jar of jelly or honey, eight single-serve foil-wrapped packs of mayonnaise or several small jars of mayonnaise, a box of low-salt crackers, box of vanilla wafers or graham crackers, and a jumbo pack of chewing gum, sugar-free gum if diabetic. You might also enjoy having a bag of gumdrops, jelly beans, or similar type candy for a snack. You will want to use the original rice milk and put it on your cereal. The canned meat and fish can be mixed with mayonnaise and then eaten with the low salt crackers. The fruit cups and the vegetables can be eaten at lunch and dinner. Use the vanilla wafers, graham crackers, and gumdrops for snacks. Limit your fluid intake to four ounces at each meal. Chew the gum to help prevent thirst between the meals so you can keep your fluid intake low. And we recommend that you limit your total fluid intake to 16 ounces or less. All of this can be placed in one of those big jumbo tubs if disaster strikes. And every few months, you go in, replace the out of date items in the emergency box so that the supply is always fresh. If a disaster strikes, ensure that your environment is safe and do not leave unless you are injured. Notify your dialysis facility if you are not able to come in for treatment. And if you can't reach your facility, contact your ESRD network. Then start the emergency diet. 
contact the water and electric companies if you are without power or water and tell them of your special needs. Thank you, that helps a lot. I have some of those items at home and I have some that I need to go buy. Guess I better make me a shopping list so that I can be prepared. I can provide you with an emergency shopping list and you can also go to davita.com and visit their emergency services tab. Then you will be better prepared for whenever a weather-related emergency strikes. Thank you.